The air of deep uncertainty that has for so long dominated Afghanistan appear even larger as the country is witnessing constant attacks ever since the signing of the historic peace deal between the United States and the Taliban. In a recent attack, terrorists belonging to ISIS killed more than 27 people and wounded several others at a political rally in the capital city of Kabul. This attack has once again raised the concern regarding the vulnerable situation of Afghanistan amidst the revival of dreaded terror groups on its soil. An expected spell of reprieve in war-torn Afghanistan has suffered a major setback as the country continues to remain a target of insurgents. And it is not Taliban but the other groups that have reactivated after the Taliban reined in its fighters following the historic peace deal. In a recent incident of violence, gunmen attacked a political rally in Kabul that claimed at least 27 lives and wounded 29 others, including women and children. The country's political elite, including Afghanistan's chief executive, Abdullah Abdullah, were also present in the ceremony but escaped unharmed. The gathering marked the death anniversary of Abdul Ali Mazari, an ethnic Hazara leader who was killed in 1995 after being taken prisoner by the Taliban. This is the first deadliest assault in Afghanistan's capital since the historic troop withdrawal agreement was signed in Doha between the United States and the Taliban Islamist militant group. These attacks in Afghanistan prove the active presence of several terror groups in the country, even as the United States has been trying to spearhead efforts towards a lasting peace arrangement. While on site, the United States is planning a gradual withdrawal of its troops, a resumption in non-Taliban attacks on other can prove detrimental for the country. The rise of other terrorist groups will once again create a situation the country is seemingly coming out from. But one thing is clear, whether it is the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, Islamic State or any other organization, it is the common Afghans who stand to lose in the violent campaign.